Tonight's show is all about NASA's discovery today. I'm going sending throughout your space. Phil Collins is going to appear green screen. Yes. It's worked. It's worked. Trappist 1B. See? They're too close to the sun. It's going to burn your face. 1D. You're gonna sweat. A, A. I would be not good as a weather correspondent. This one. Hasn't got me yet. F, G. They're Goldilocks rain. Hey, oh! One H. And that is the correct way to say H. Go back to main screen. These transitions are far too much fun. Where is Phil? He keeps disappearing. He is. The distance between Earth and the Sun, then multiply that by 63,000. That's one light year. This sucker's 40 light years away. So if you are interested in starting a meetup group to build a time machine or bend space, get in touch. We need tunes. Exoplanet Wednesdays, there's a new rocket vibe supposed to fire my imagination. I can't get no. No more. No more. B. C. D. All too hot to live in. You need to cool down, planets. You're too hot. I'm not coming to you anytime soon. You cheeky muffins. Eh? Far too hot. Get out of the oven. E, F, G. E, F, and G. They're lovely. They're lovely planets. One H. Far too cold. Can't live there. Too cold. Can you sit like, oh, hound, how do I? Oh, right, where's. This is. Shit. Their solar system is that big, yeah? But that's not to scale to ours. Shrink theirs down. Their entire solar system fits inside there. Or another way to look at it, their entire solar system sits before Mercury. What type of crazy solar system have they got there? The type of one that I want to move to, because I hear the mojitos there are delicious. It's a fact. You can... Look it up on Wikipedia. So, remember, B, C, D, don't go there. Far too hot. E, F, G, lovely. H, terrible. Play some Mario Brothers. Da, 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 da. Seven Earth-sized planets orbiting the nearby Trappist-1 star. Three of these planets are in the habitable zone that finding a second Earth is not just a matter of if, but when. Oh, I don't care how ice cold your heart is. That is one of the most amazing statements ever. We are going to find these places. Push it back. Coins. Coins, do you think that exoplanets have intelligent life? Oh, big question. Let's chat about the possibility of intelligent life while this song plays. Because we're all a fan of irony. I firmly believe that life exists elsewhere. I don't think an exact replica of what we've created. Rose, Rubik's Cube, selfie sticks. And, but I do think that there is a conscious life form out there. And I think there's a lot of them. I talk to them nightly. What do they say? They say hi. Coins for the question. That was a really good question. Whoa, hold the phone. Right. If someone can find out what is the distance between each of these exoplanets and what is the distance between Earth and the moon, we'll then be able to work out if, yeah, if you could see the other planet while standing on it. Distance from the Earth to the Moon. Let's call it 400,000. Distance between planet 1b and 1c, 0 0.004 AU. Yo, friends! 600,000 kilometers is the distance 1b and 1c. Our moon is only 400,000 kilometers away. Surely, if you were standing on 1c, you would see 1b. Oh, hang on, we've got a comment in here. Don't forget that it's the distance between their orbits. Oh! You're absolutely correct. These objects are not orbiting each other. They are orbiting the star. Imagine this. You're standing on one of the planets throughout the days and the weeks. The other planets would come in and out of strength in the sky. Let's give ourselves coins. We made some assumptions. We then proved that some of those assumptions were wrong in our little community. Coins all round. Names go down in history for being the first at something. Neil going to the moon or whoever made the first pizza. I don't know who that was, but I really want to say well done to them. I keep pizza in a drawer, pizza in a drawer. That's right, pizza in a drawer. Nav made a really good point. Imagine when they're spinning past each other and the gravity becomes so, so strong that you get sucked off this one and have to go there. <laughs> Oh, let's take another jump. Whoa! Water world. Coins, coins, coins. Oh. Too hot, too hot, too hot. Goldilocks, Goldilocks. Alright, Phil might not be coming in with comments. Yes, he will. Of course he will. He's Phil Collins. He loves solar systems. Right. This was an episode of Exoplanet Wednesdays. I wish you all the best. I'm gone sending throughout your space.